confused by tracking blood glucose. Maybe you're getting confused by a high one-off glucose reading and forgetting the purpose of it and the big picture. My advice is to stop tracking daily blood glucose, of course, unless you've been advised by a physician to do so. Here's what to do instead. Every 10 to 12 weeks, pull your serum labs and make sure you have glucose, insulin, and an HbA1c. Base your decisions off of these interventions as this is more reflective of insulin sensitivity and blood glucose trending over time. A single glucose reading that's high is not reflective of your insulin sensitivity. It could be just you had a bad night's sleep or maybe you ate a meal a little bit later. Basing your decisions off one glucose reading is like investing in stocks off what it did for the day. When we know for stock investments, you should base your financial decisions off long-term trends. Same thing goes with blood glucose. We want to look at trends over time. This is why we're going to go off lab markers. So what to do? Step one, pull your labs every 10 to 12 weeks. Step two, assess those labs and implement your interventions, whatever they may be, metformin, insulin, GDAs, dietary changes, etc. Step three, repeat those labs every 10 to 12 weeks again. Reassess and adjust your intervention as you need. Step four, don't overcomplicate it. Check out my story for the link to labs that I recommend through Merrick Health.